All right, so this is going to be a video about adding and subtracting rational expressions. And if you haven't noticed the trend, anything with rational expressions is usually similar to fractions. So this is going to be similar to adding or subtracting fractions. Here's some tips. First one, find a common denominator between the two numbers that you're adding together. Next, simplify by combining the numerators. Okay, once you have common denominators for both of them, you can combine the numerators. Then solve, and then last but not least, you can simplify again if necessary. So, to go over subtract, adding and subtracting rational expressions, I have an example right here that I'm going to work out. Um, I advise trying to work this out based on these tips right here. Um, so, pausing the video, trying these tips to solve this, and then unpause it and uh, see how I work it out, and then hopefully that will help you. So, here we go. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is just find the common denominator. Okay, for this first one, the denominator is 1, because it's 1, it's 1 over 1. And then we have x plus 2 over x minus 3. Now, the easiest common denominator to, to, to find it would just be to multiply this denominator by this denominator right here. And then you get x minus 3. So what I'm going to do is multiply this bottom and top both by x minus 3. And then I will end up getting x minus 3 over x minus 3, which would cancel out to get 1. So what I'm doing right here is kind of unsimplifying it to make it so I have common denominators. Plus this term right here, the x plus 2 over x minus 3. So find the common denominator. Next, simplify by combining numerators. So I'm going to combine this numerator with this numerator. So I can add these together because I have common denominators now. So I have x plus x, which is going to be equal to 2x, and then negative 3 plus positive 2 would be negative 1. Then I'm dividing it by the same denominator of x minus 3 to get the answer of 2x minus 1 over x minus 3. Okay, an easy way to check your work on this to see if this is correct is to plug in the value of x to be equal to 0. Okay, because then you have easy numbers to work with. You'd have 0 minus 1, which is negative 1, and 0 minus 3, which is negative 3. So you'd have 1 third. Let's see if you get 1 third up here. We have 1 plus, if this is 0 and that's 0, the x's are 0, you'll have 2 over negative 3. So you'd have 1 plus negative 2 over 3, which would be equal to 1 third. So this matches with this right here. So that means we have an answer that works. It says simplify again. There's nothing we can simplify here. That's our final answer. Um, and that's adding and subtracting rational expressions. If you have any questions about any of this, let me know.